this is only 321 degrees below zero. That's all. Culinary arts faculty and students at Pennsylvania College of Technology added a dash of science to craft cool recipes for more than 200 high school students. The recent Taste of Technology presentation showcased how a kitchen could be transformed into a big chemistry set. What's the objective? Well, we want to learn about spherification. We want to learn about liquid nitrogen and different food products and how to use that in avant-garde cuisine. They chose very like out of the box ideas to show kids from just high school, which I liked because you know some people are like, oh, we don't want to go too far because it might be, take too long to explain. And I think a lot of us got it. This elevates what we do to another level, but of course, by no means does this replace the normal way of people serving or eating food. Demonstrations included dropping a liquid and sodium alginate solution into a chloride bath to produce an edible shell with a liquid center. In other words, the perfect appetizer. So you're taking a drop of liquid that actually is going to form a sphere in the shape of a caviar. Except it's not your traditional caviar, it's the faux caviar or fake caviar where the sky's the limit. For the entree, students produce some special spaghetti by combining flavored liquid with agar, a jelly-like derivative of seaweed. When you use agar like that, it is what they call thermally irreversible. We could heat that up, we could put a sauce on it, we could use it as a savory, we could use it as a sweet. Ice cream and frozen marshmallows provided a decadent dessert, thanks to liquid nitrogen. It's a quicker way of freezing products, and when you freeze products quickly, you save the integrity of the product. So one of the fun things with liquid nitrogen is we can make ice cream, and it is so creamy in your mouth, it's a cross between ice cream and whipped cream. And it doesn't have those smaller ice crystals, so it's more palatable, it has a lot of flavor. Today was to show them that food's not all seriousness, and you could have a lot of fun as far as what you're doing. And learn at the same time. I learned a lot about like how science and like food correspond a lot together. I learned a lot of new things. I mean, half this stuff I didn't even hear of before today, so it definitely was interesting. So a couple of things that we're going to go through. The presentation also served as a preview for the main course the culinary crew will share this April in Washington, D.C., as they represent Penn College at the USA Science and Engineering Festival, the largest STEM education event in the country. Now we have a crew, we're assembling a team. Um, we have four faculty members, we're going to have about nine students. We are handpicking a team of students. At least one of the high schoolers hopes to be a classmate of those culinary arts students next year. Because I see the stuff you, they're doing and I see it's great, it's wonderful. I see how great the teachers are, the instructors. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for being a wonderful audience. For PC Today, I'm Tom Spicer.